have this business really to promote microbial technology in New Zealand and specifically for us it's the product EM which is an acronym for Effective Microorganisms. EM is a product that's used all around the world so it's a combination of different forms of microbes. So we have bacteria, yeast and fungi in our brew. It's a fermented inoculant so we ferment it here. Hey here we are at uh, Nature Farm or EMNZ and I'm standing in front of our production vats or two of them at least. Um, we have three. These are pretty important equipment for us. Um, this is where the magic happens. This is where we grow the microbes and they grow out into the formulation that goes um, either in the soil, across the plants, or, or into the animal, depending on which product that we're making. This is our largest vat, uh, which um, will grow out 7,000 litres of goodness, as we like to call it. Getting the exact temperature is pretty important because the key microbes that we've put into the brew grow at that temperature, so maintaining a stable warm temperature, we like to be in between 30 and 36 degrees, creates an environment where the microbes um, will grow at their ideal state. Part of our business is it relies on R&D and product development and that looks at adding different microbes to our brew to enhance them for a particular process, whether that be you know, animal health or soil or plant or looking at adding in different elements um, in terms of um, nutrients that can enhance the microbial brew. So this is where we mix them up. We look at different things like how the microbes react together or mixing nutrient and just seeing how the microbes will work in that environment. The Japanese professor, Dr. Higa, and he was fascinated with microorganisms. He wanted to discover how they influence plant growth. And by chance, he was putting the single strains of microorganisms into a common bucket. And then he noticed where he was discarding his bucket, he got luxury growth. The key to microorganisms is the combinations rather than individuals. We generally will do our mixing work, our product development work uh, in the lab. We'll do a few um, uh, really small um, uh, pot trials in here and then we'll go to a glass house and the larger scale replicated trials before we take it into the paddock. But here we're just literally looking at different foliar impacts on the leaf of some brassica crops. And here we're just looking at the effective runoff or a high weather event on different soils that have been used with the microbes and with seeds and stuff like that. The soil is already more friable in the ones with the microbes. It's it's much harder without in, in just the plain topsoil. You can really see a lot more friability to it as in a lot more granules. So just little experiments that we can we put into play to see what they can do to help our clients. I'm Tim, Tim Hawk. I'm in a family home, family farm, which is in White Rock. The farm is 222 hectares and I run predominantly sheep with a few dairy grazers as well. About five years ago, I was looking at my whole farming scene and I was thinking we should be able to do something differently here. I started spraying EM onto my pastures. It changed the fungi and the bacteria in the soil so we could utilise the nutrients that we're putting on and they were bound up in the soil and they weren't leaching out the same as what the superphosphates did and the ureas did. And I've noticed too, the soil is more open and there's a lot more worms and with that your crops grow well and then it's carrying on from there. The sheep are doing well and the cattle are doing well on the products as well. It's pretty rewarding working here at Nature Farm and MNZ. We sort of feel like we're making a difference. We're doing things differently than a lot of other people in the market and we're providing solutions for farmers that help to mitigate some of the problems in intensive farming. We get to use and try a lot of different products that get to test our microbes in different environments. So it's always changing. We're looking to overcome more issues and help farmers in, in different ways. What's really exciting is, is hearing success stories from farmers and, 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 and helping them overcome some of their problems.